Welcome to Seth Craft. I just received the Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser engraving machine. This powerhouse of a laser requires a six inch fume extraction port. And so today I'm gonna to be installing that. At Lowe's, I picked up this six inch extraction port. It's actually just a dryer vent and it's gonna be perfect for going through my wall and connecting to the exhaust system of the Nova 35. So let's step into the laser room and cut a hole in the wall so that I can install the exit port here for the fumes. I'm here in the laser room. I'm gonna have my laser right here against this wall. Now the fume extraction port on the laser is approximately 20 inches up from the ground, but I know that my wiring goes through my wall at approximately 18 inch, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is step down below that level and go down in here for my extraction. I also know that I have a stud right here and then one right over here underneath the window. So I have this small section right here to work with. I'm going to be using this six inch hole saw. It's a spider. I got this from Lowe's as well. They are quite expensive, but uh, definitely nice to have because it will cut through both this wood here for the plywood, but also outside on my um, concrete board siding. So I know that I have a stud right here underneath the window. And so what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm underneath that 18 inch mark, which should be about right here. And I'm going to uh, drill my hole uh, straight through. I now have my pilot hole through the outside of the building. I'm gonna line up my drill bit and get this cut on through. This six inch is probably bigger than my drill needs to be uh, attached to, but it's okay. It's the best one I've got. more layer to go through. Nice. There we go. One six inch hole through the wall of my building. The dryer vent that I have has a long pipe here on the back side, and it's gonna be too long for my application. So what I want to do is place this into the wall, go inside, and then mark where I need to cut that pipe down so it's not quite so long. As you can see, the pipe is a bit too long. So what I want to do is take a pin, and I believe I'm gonna move up about two inches, which is about right here. And I want to cut off this section over here, and that gives me enough room to attach my pipe to and then put a little tape on it if I need to. To prevent water from getting into this hole, I'm going to place some of this caulking right around here. I'm gonna apply it fairly thick. I'm gonna go up and around the hole and then down here. I'm gonna leave the lower section open for now. I can go ahead and place this right into the hole. Get that to press in there. Now there are four holes around the outside of this box. I'm gonna use some of these Torx screws to get that locked down. Make sure we're level here. Okay, I do four of those total. Okay. 
And now the last thing I want to do is just put caulk around the border here to make sure that no moisture ever gets in there. I now have the six inch exhaust vent installed on the side of my workshop here, and it's looking pretty good. Now, I'll try to have a link to the Lowe's page for this, but it's the R2 Pro and um, looks like a Imperial. It's got a good slant on here, so the rain and snow will fall off. It also has a grate inside. Uh, so I'm not sure I'll be able to show you that too much here, but there's a grate, and that keeps some of the bigger animals from getting in there. It also um, has a flap that closes automatically to prevent air from escaping when you don't want it to, uh, which is good for heat and cooling. Um, I have noticed though that wasp will still get up in there. Um, I actually have another one of these up here on the top and the holes are still big enough that a wasp is able to get up in there and make a nest. But um, when the smoke starts flowing, it seems to uh, get the wasp out of there. So use your laser a lot and you won't have that problem. Stepping back to the inside, the fit was nice and tight. However, I did put some extra caulking around there to make sure there weren't any gaps. So that will have enough room there for me to attach my hose to and then put a little tape on there to make a nice tight seal. Um, as you can see, the flap in there has also made a good seal and there is no air gaps for any of your heating or cooling or even for bugs to escape in there. It's doing pretty good. I am installing the six inch vent for the Nova 35 Thunder laser, but it will also work for any other laser that has a six inch or smaller exit port. So keep that in mind if you're not doing this for a Thunder laser. For instance, the one I have that I showed up top goes to my four inch reducers and I have that going to some diode lasers and it works out just fine. So keep that in mind. If you wanna watch more videos on the Thunder Laser, I will have those coming up very soon. So be sure you are subscribed to the channel. I purchased this machine with my own money and I'm looking forward to starting my laser engraving business and ramping it up to production quality. So, thanks for watching. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop and I will see you in the next video.